I'd like to call a meeting to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge Pledge allegiance to the the flag of the United United States States of America America, and and to the republic for which it stands, one one nation, under God, God, indivisible, with with liberty liberty and justice justice for all. (coughs) All right, thanks for coming, everybody. Roll call, please. Sandy Kufout. Here. Chris O'Regan. Here. Christy Hilton. Here. Artie Bryson. Here, barely. Cindy Valentine here. <coughs> Joanne Shirky. Here. Mark Bouchard. Here. All right, thank you. Um, I'd like to amend the agenda under five for new business, uh, fire truck, uh, or for, for the fire department vehicle purchase. That's under new business for five. Did you get that, Crystal? Okay. And oh, I wanted to mention too, uh, Crystal's going to be leaving us. She's been uh, doing our videos since, I don't know, since Long time. we've had TV. <laughs> and uh, we have Madison back there, a high school student being trained right now. So, hi, Madison. She didn't say hi. She's probably embarrassed back there. Still in training. Okay. <clears throat> uh, bill's payable, please. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve bills payable in the amount of $141,974.04. Support. Okay, we have motion to support. Any discussion on anything? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Christy Hilton? Yes. Artie Bryson? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. Joanne Shirky? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Sandy Kufo? Yes. Okay, motion carries. Following the amended agenda. Yeah, we, we didn't, uh, I didn't do a vote on that either. No. So I'm sorry, I'm half here, I'm sick. So I would like to make a motion Thank to postpone you. new business two, three, and four and add new business number five, fire department vehicle approval. Support. Thank you. <laughs> okay, we have motion and support. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, motion carries. <clears throat> All right. So now that we messed up the, yeah. the video back there. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, next we have public comments. Any public comments? Okay. Oh, my God. I know I'm not feeling well myself. If you got a sore back, you just can't get comfortable either. It doesn't matter if you're standing or sitting or what. No, I had fusion of uh, oh. four and five. Good luck with that. Yeah. Six months. Mm. Anyways. I can get your name and address oh, before sorry. you start. Mark Pizora, 9034 Field Road. Mark, can you tip your... Up. There you there go. You go. Better? That's better, yes. Okay. Okay, I've been dealing with the building department and already on uh, the problem with the old Hawkes dump. A um, lot of activity going on there right now, and they're violating uh, zoning ordinance 2017. And I've been told it should bump to the state. Well, the state, Thank you. Until I called today and they hadn't heard nothing, so they're going to send someone out. Now, according to our ordinance, it's supposed to have 80 acres. The way they set it up is so no one could have it in the township, it looked like, the ones that set the zoning ordinance up. They have to have 80 acres. They're supposed to be 1,200 feet of, uh, away from uh, residential lot line, which they're right against, or those that are right against it, my property line. And they're supposed to be 1,500 feet away from a dwelling. Well, they're closer than that to my house and some of the houses on Fruit Road. So I think we should start enforcing this. Yeah, we've seen a few rats running out of there today when they were really? dozing around, yeah. What, what are they bringing in there, Mark? It's compost coming from uh, Unidig out down on 14 Mile, and they're glad to bring it out here. North American Concrete's bringing it out here. <clears throat> we have a. What is, say it again, what is it that they're bringing? They're bringing compost that's half decayed, and it's not finished decaying, and it's got wood and everything else, which there's DEQ, there is logs yard, on Yard it. waste? It looks like yard waste, but it's got logs. Anything they dumped in it, it's in it. 
There's no rhyme or reason or what they're dumping. That's the stuff in the back? Yeah. That's the stuff in the back, right? We can print some pictures off yeah. if people yeah. want yeah. them on what's going on. Is this the first time they've they've dumped? They've been doing it for about two months steady. About two months? And anywhere from 100 yards to 500 yards a day, they're pulling it in in gravel trains. How many yards would you estimate of uh, compost are there right now? I bet you 15,000 yards, 20,000 yards. You know, gravel train hauls, of that stuff, they're probably hauling 38 yards. Okay. Do we know who the owner of the property is? Yeah. Um, I've, I've talked to a Philly inspector about it and a couple people about it <clears throat> several times. And, and truthfully, we have a file on this property. I'm not exaggerating. It's about 8, 10 inches thick. <clears throat> and uh, it, it's the old uh, Hawkus stump. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a, a handle on it myself. I'm, of, um, I would assume that it was it, it was a brown field, yeah, but it, but it, yeah. but it never. I don't think it never was, from what I can decipher. It has no leach system on it, and it's still, <clears throat> it still it gives right. off it's giving off methane gas, which is a bad combination with composting. Right, and I've even uh, reached out to the county, and of course I haven't really gotten any response with them yet about maybe making it a browns field or, or doing something with it. Um, basically, this property has probably 25, 30 feet buried garbage from the old garbage dump yep. that's years, been, yep. you know, for that years. Clay yeah. Township and the surrounding areas used for many years. Yeah, it's about probably 15 feet, 18 feet. I imagine they didn't go into the clay. Yeah, I don't know how deep it is. Yeah, but, right uh, in there, that's about what it would be. <clears throat> but uh, it is an issue, and uh, it's something that we, we need to... Uh, address uh, hopefully sooner than later because like I say I mean it's all dumping I personally I don't think it's being uh, uh, I, I know nowadays they have different regulations for dumps you know you got to be monitored and all this stuff and that's not being done well on there were property. wells on there a few of them put in in 99 what's when that scientific management did put some monitoring wells in really back in 99 99. You got the booklet on that, that scientific management? Yeah, I can, I can if find you don't, out. If you don't have it, I got, I got a copy I can make copies of. Management, <coughs> 99. Okay. But um, the thing is, is Freedom Hill got in trouble. Um, I'm thinking, trying to think of the contractor. It might have been Dan's brought in a bunch of uh, material over there. And it was just dirt, and they got in trouble. They, I think it was $500,000 worth of damage. Now, who's going to pick up the cost of that is what? Right. Property owner don't have no money. No, I know. So. <clears throat> well, there's money. If it's declared a Brownsfield, there's, there is cleanup money available through. Well, at that point, then, it's going to be, it's going to have to be fenced and. Yeah. N you know, nothing done with it. You know, the, the owner's not going to be able to do anything at that point. Right. Which he shouldn't anyways. Yeah. What? Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can do on it, Mark. And yeah, I say we're gonna have to step on it. All right. Just can let you guys it. leave your contact information for any of our trustees before you leave in case they wanna get in touch with you for any mm -hmm. other information? Yeah. All right. Mark, how big would you say that the neighbor's property is? It's oh, 10 acres. It's 10, 10 acres? acres? Yeah. Yep, and it's supposed to, be, under our <laughs> ordinance, we can shut it down, you know, because it's supposed to be 80 acres. It's had no site plan review on it or nothing for what he's doing. Zone light industrial. Right, and but you gotta have a site plan approval, like yep. just like everything I did. Yep. And I think that's it. Unless someone else got some put in on you know, if you want to say anything about fire hazard, you know. <laughs> it is. All right. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Thanks, Mark. Yep. Right here. <coughs> Does anybody else have any public comments? Yeah, one second, Sandy's almost done. <laughs> good, e <laughs> good evening. <laughs>
Turn, 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 turn around, Sandy. Everyone's watching on TV. No, they're not. They're on there. They're on the podium. Okay. Hi, Wanda 81506 Market Street, Algonac. I'm Marilyn Gina, 2240 Michigan Street, Algonac. The Historical Society of Michigan pre presents several rewards annually to groups and individuals in our state for their outstanding work. The Algonac Clay Historical Society was selected this year as Local Society of the Year. A group of us went to Hope College in Holland on September 22nd for the annual banquet and conference and received the award which reads the State History Award presented to the Historical Society of Michigan, to Algonac Clay Township Historical Society for local societies, recognizing the exceptional achievements in preserving and advancing Michigan history. This will be displayed at the Maritime Museum. Hundreds of volunteers throughout the state work tirelessly every single day to preserve and display their history, and we are very, very proud to be leader of that group. Thanks to the Township of Clay, the City of Algonac, and all of our citizenry for your endless support, otherwise this could never, ever have happened. So we want to thank you very much and we will continue to um, preserve our amazing history. And just as a little plug, we have a fundraising Halloween open house at Mike and Jill Bembus's house on the 21st. It's $5 and tickets can be bought at the Maritime Museum and bring something for the food bank. And we have our annual spaghetti dinner on the 24th. Both are October. And um, it's at the St. Catherine Activity Center from 4.30 to 7. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations yeah. on your award. Yeah, that's a great group. Let's go to the spaghetti dinner. Yeah, the, they, they make great spaghetti. I, yeah. <laughs> the secret's... A, the secrets in the sauce and good desserts too. Yeah. Is it spaghetti or is it mustard? No, it's, spaghetti. No, it's, spaghetti. it's real spaghetti. Oh, I'm there if it's real spaghetti. <laughs> yes, yeah. but uh, yeah, they do a they do a great job. And yeah. I'll tell you what, if you ever go to one of their meetings, it's a hoot. They they have a good time there. They really do. So, any other public comments? <clears throat> Hearing none. Uh, Consent agenda. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda consisting of the minutes of the board meeting of October 2nd and synopsis. Reports consisting of check reports, September assessing, building and zoning, code enforcement, fire and police reports. Notice the planning member list, the zoning member list, um, just letting us know who is up for reappointment. Communication, uh, fire department resignation, Dustin Curry. Request clerk and treasurer attend an MTA accounting workshop on November 29th for $111 per person. Support. Okay, we have motion to support. Any questions or anything on any of that stuff? Yes, I would like to um, call attention to the planning member list, if you can find it, but I'll just tell you briefly what I'm concerned with. Um, Mark Brochured over here is listed as, is not listed as the board rep. Yeah, he should be the, the board there. rep. And the dates are wrong because he's an elected official. I think it mm -hmm. should be till the term. The term, the term yep. of office. So yep. I, I'd like mm -hmm. to see us get a correction okay. to that. Okay, thank you. We'll have to do yeah. that. Well, um, I, be I believe that because he was previously appointed, uh, right, that, that, that was his term then. Right. So that's, she just didn't update it. Right, with right. His. but it should, it should be. should be listed as board member. Because yeah. mine on the CBA is is listed, you know, as um, the four-year, you know, term of election, so. All right, we'll tell Cindy yeah. Babish. Just, just um, a little note. I like to do things correctly. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do, thank you. <laughs> you done, Joanne? Anything mm -hmm. else? Yeah, I, can I get a little clarification on uh, a few of the, on the check registry? Yes. Um, check number 29271, Remax first. Yes. Is that for um, 
the island yeah. yes. property? Yep. That was awesome. the board approved one, yep. Yep. And then um, number 29256, um, Tashmoo Marina. Is that one of the police or? Uh, the Frag Mighty's boat. Yes. Oh, that's the Frag boat? Mm hmm. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Any more comments, questions? <clears throat> Hearing none, all in favor of the consent agenda, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Supervisor's report. And I must apologize, I've been sick for I don't know how long. Uh, it's, it's really knocked, knocked me out. I was out most of the week last week, and I didn't come to work today, I, well, for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I went to see a uh, doctor. He gave me a Z-pack and everything, but it's, um, it's kicking my butt, that's for sure. <clears throat> um, last week, we, uh, we, we, uh, the auditors were here all, all last week and then three weeks uh, before that. And uh, they, they've done most of their work, at least most that they need to be done now. Uh, Lee or anyone didn't come today, did they? No. Okay, no. They, there was a issue. Or they weren't sure if one person might show up to <clears throat> pick up a couple loose ends this week. But uh, <clears throat> they're going to be calling us and uh, scheduling <clears throat> to uh, come and give us a report on our audit in one of our December meetings. So um, <clears throat> once they get it all wrapped up. Um, I'm not sure which one. Yeah, I gave them the two dates, and they got to fit it in with all their other municipalities that they uh, represent also. So, and as, um, as uh, Chris pointed out, um, we did uh, get the purchase offer on the Columbine property signed, and, um, and uh, that was the deposit for it. And... Um, they did. We did put in um, the changes in it from that, that was suggested by our attorney, and uh, <clears throat> now I've been starting to work with uh, setting up a timeline of how how exactly you know for getting all the permits in line. Uh, <clears throat> I actually been talking with the DNR trust fund and. Uh, I got a lot of documents to go through that, and there's going to be some steps that we have to do uh, <clears throat> to. Um, you know, to, to secure this grant. Uh, um, and we are going to have to have the, um, or ask our planning commission to amend the um, the parks and rec uh, plan to include this in the in our, our parks and rec plan. <clears throat> and uh, we got to get some environmental studies done. And, and um, we are going to have to uh, hold a, uh, a public hearing and properly advertise it and all that stuff. And I was hoping to have that done now, but I've been just too under the weather to do that. But um, so uh, we're going to be busy um, doing a lot of that stuff and getting it all organized and everything. Got to write nar narratives and, uh, <clears throat> and everything else. I, I got a lot of information on it and it should go pretty quick. Also, did want to mention too. <clears throat> um, I forgot my last week's or last meeting supervisor's report. <clears throat> um, the Crispin drain, where, where this is going to be on the Blue Ways, Crispin Blue Ways, <clears throat> uh, the GLRI, the EPA people that spearheaded that project, <clears throat> they did have a crew there uh, doing some uh, monitoring and, um, and s some studies to get a... a see how much this approved the, the year before. I, I have not received that yet, but verbally they said that they, they are pleasantly surprised on the results. <clears throat> and I wasn't aware that they are going to do that. You asked me about, you know, the frags uh, on there. And they actually did, a, did themselves. They, they, they treated it one last time uh, mid-September. Uh, mid, um, <clears throat> um, they didn't have to do that much. It's not only a few spots where they're bad, but they uh, did cover the whole uh, whole project area, and uh, so uh, they uh, they were surprisingly you know happy of, of what's going on. <clears throat> we have heard comments that you know the this time of year is full of um, aquatic plant growth and everything, <clears throat> and that's going to happen. Um, it is a habitat restoration. <clears throat> um, you know the. Uh, the, how, how it was it was planned? You know, you, you have sloping banks underwater, between six inches and a foot, foot and a half, 
and uh, that's because that's where most of your plant life is and your uh, aquatics, you know, the species is for breeding and, and, uh, and feeding and all that. Then in the middle, they cut it to about four feet deep. <clears throat> and it varies wherever it goes. But uh, on, that, on those shelves, that's where, you, you know, it's for exactly that, for getting the plant life going and the lily pads and it's all the dragonflies and, and um, frogs. Uh, frogs and tadpoles and everything. That's what they like. So, <clears throat> um, so I just want to mention that. Uh, upcoming events, we, are, uh, we do have our um, yoga class still going on. Um, it's Tuesdays at uh, 6.30 at Millside Elementary, and then uh, there's $10 for drop-in rate. And on Wednesdays, we have our Zuma fitness class at uh, 6.30 at Millside also, and that's also a $10 rate to drop in. <clears throat> we are going to, uh, has Cindy said anything to you guys? I know we're going to do a phase two of this. I'm not sure if this is the same nights or what, but... Uh, uh, she's she's going to follow it up with some more classes and everything, so uh, I don't have that information on with me right now. <clears throat> um, October 21st, same night as uh, or day as the um, Historical Society's open house. Um, the Harsons Island is doing their annual Halloween party on Stewart, Stewart Farm in their on the barn, and this, this become a pretty good. Um, um, event over there and uh, they do it to raise money for uh, what's it for is it the they're, readers huh they're historical it is it historical I, I wasn't I sure if it's, yeah it's it is the historical yeah, yeah. I'm a, I wasn't sure I'm if it's sure. the library or the historical society it's for the historical society <clears throat> it charges ten dollars for adults and uh, one to five year olds are free but you get a lunch, a hayride, there's a bounce house there, they do a scavenger hunt, they do face painting, there's a candy scramble, uh, they have free cotton candy, and they have a big pumpkin. You guess the weight and the winner wins something. And I know our police and uh, fire departments are going to have a present there, presence there, and not presents, but they're gonna be there. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Um, there's going to be a craft table for kids to do crafts and pumpkin decorating. And then the following weekend, October 28th, is our uh, Scarecrow Festival next door in the park. Um, I know we've been uh, getting sponsors together for it and everything, but uh, it's coming along pretty good. We have a Scarecrow contest. You can make your own Scarecrow with cash prizes. We have a muskrat. I'm not sure. Oh, boy, I got it. We've got a muskrat category, a robotics category. I know we contacted a few of the robotics clubs. Um, we have, um, uh, I know one for businesses category, and one for uh, families category. And, uh, but we have the scarecrow contest. We have make your own scarecrow because we got all the stuff there to make scarecrows. People come. And uh, make it make you know we have old clothes and straw and everything. Make your own scarecrow and take it home with you. If anybody has any old clothes you want to get rid of, the more holes the better. Bring them over. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna have all kinds of kids games, uh, a, a, a dog uh, costume contest uh, going on, and uh, I know there's some prizes for that and. Uh, what else do we have? Um, we're going to have a great DJ there, and, uh, and there'll be a lot more stuff. I know Macomb County uh, Crafts tra Trailer or Crafts Craft Mobile is coming, and uh, they get a bunch of uh, old materials, actually from industrial type materials from the city, and um, old material and everything. It's all all uh, secondhand stuff, and they come and they. Uh, for the kids to do crafts with it. I guess they get pretty, um, pretty, uh, a lot of imagin imaginary stuff going on. I'm sick, I'm sorry. Wrap but, it up. Uh, huh? Wrap it up. Wrap it up. That's about it. If you have any questions, or if you guys are on Facebook, uh, go ahead and like Clay Township Parks and Rec. Um, if you have any questions, uh, get a hold of Cindy Babish in our building department, too. So, all right. Thanks a lot, and sorry. Um, not the word you were looking for was creative. Creative. Thank you.
I'm, uh, I'm only half here. <coughs> okay. New business. We have resolution 2017-32, permanent flowers authorize section 125. You want to talk about that? So section 125 is the premium only plan that allows our employees to uh, pay their premiums towards health care expenses that before taxes come out. Um, for the IRS, we have to go ahead and adopt this um, to be able to do that before taxes. So that saves them a little <coughs> bit of money from the FICA and saves us a little bit of money as well because um, we also don't have to pay anything if it's before tax. So it's in the best interest of both the employees and the employer. So I'll make a motion to approve the resolution 2017-32, um, <coughs> authorizing section 125. Support. Okay, motion to support. Any discussion on that? <clears throat> was, this none, what? was this something that the uh, staff? Uh, yeah, this is something we currently have. have. Um, just when we moved all of our benefits mm -hmm. um, over to Burnham Flowers a few meetings back. This is just something else we're moving over so they can take care of it all together. It doesn't cost us anything. We, we, we have to approve it at this level so the IRS, so it's basically so uh, they don't have to pay taxes, it's an IRS rule. Beneficial to the staff, though. Yep, okay. yep, both sides. Uh, yep, and us, too. Wow. we got to match what they have to pay. Win-win. Yep. That was a big... Lots of stuff to read in that thing. Oh, yeah. Lots <laughs> well, of... Well, that was the whole summary plan description. So, yes, a lot of legal legal definitions and language in there. So nothing's changing from what they have now. It's just nope. who the provider is. Yep. Who the agent is that handles it. Over. Yeah. Need a roll call. Right, yep. Uh, any more discussion? Do we get a motion and... Support, yep. You did. Okay, roll call. Christy Hilton. Yes. Artie Bryson. Yes. Cindy Valentine. Yes. Joanne Shirky. Yes. Mark Bouchard. Yes. Sandy Kufel. Yes. Chris O'Regan. Yes. Okay. Motion carries. <clears throat> um, two, three, and four to reappoint some uh, members on our planning and zoning board has been postponed. And uh, I do have two more that I left out on here. If anybody is interested in, in in serving on one of our, uh, our our planning commission or our ZBA, please let me know um, how it works. I have to the supervisor um, approves, I guess, or, or recommends, and then the whole board um, uh, votes yay or nay. Basically, hires them, and it is what, what they make. It is a paid position. I mean, you're not going to get rich, that's for sure. No, they do forty dollars a meeting, I believe. Forty dollars a meeting. Yeah. So. If anyone's interested, uh, shoot me an email or let me know. Yeah, three weeks till the next board meeting, I think. Yeah, is November it? November 6th is the next meeting. Okay. So if we can get anybody interested by then, that'd be great. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Beautiful, Mark. <clears throat> so once a month type thing. Yeah, yeah I don't care if you pay me or not. <laughs> no, really, it's, it's not. <coughs> right. It's twice, They're good boards. I, twice. I yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's uh, it's twice a month depending on how busy we are, right. especially in the summertime. We have a lot of uh, We're planning. So, yeah, the planning portion of it. Yeah. ZBA once a month. Yeah. If there's something on the docket. All right. Thanks, Mark. Um, next, we have a, a vehicle purchase for the fire department. Um, I was in about 10 minutes today, and uh, Chief Rose says, hey, Artie, I got all the information, blah, 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 for the, by the truck. And uh, I says, well, you know what? If you don't do it tonight, it's going to be three weeks. So uh, write it up, and we'll amend the agenda. Uh, if anyone's uncomfortable with it, we can always postpone it. But uh, you want to come up, Chief? <clears throat> I think he's got, what, three quotes? Yes. I apologize for bringing it to you so late. Oh, no problem. All right. As you know, uh, we have that ex excursion. Uh, it's 17 years old. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it has 139 miles on it. 139,000? 139,000. Excuse me. Rough. Rough, rough miles. Rough miles. Um, we need something on uh, the mainland side to be able to pull the vehicle or the trailers that we have, uh, which we don't with that vehicle. Um, did they tell you how long it would take for the vehicle to come in? About eight weeks. 
Eight weeks, okay. Um, it says a budget item. I'm trying to, where did our quote come from? You're, you're, you're recommending the, the, um, the Chevy, right? Yes. And these were all priced through the state, correct? So yes. it was the It already went out minimum, for bid. Yeah, minimum bidding process. Where's the, where's the final? What, where are we getting Oh, it cost from? per vehicle. Okay, I got it. 45. And this, this is a budget of item. We budgeted 50000 in the budget. This is about $5,000 below that. So so that's... Uh, uh, no, it's 4808. No. Oh, is it 48? Yeah. 4808 out, oh. 8 out the door. I'm sorry. 4808 out the door. It's um, that's, that's taxes included. Tax, you don't pay no tax. tax. We're municipality. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is $45,008 oh, uh, 45, out the door. Yeah. Was it five years, 60000 or or As far as the warranty is concerned? I saw on the hair. Uh, I think it's like 39, 45, 39, oh, okay. So it's a typo right here. That's wrong. This is 45. Yeah, it's 45. So what's the right number? Once you get the truck, are there going to be an additional uh, apparati, apparati or apparatus? That you're going we to would to like to in? try and set it up as the same as the... Uh, pickup truck that we have on the, on the island. You're going to be uh, cannibalizing off of one to the other or no. the same equipment or buying no. new? We would replace it with new. How much is that going to cost? As far as lights and, and, yeah, and, yeah, and all the... Yeah. We're looking at about uh, $2,000 for a light bar and, and emergency lighting on it. So that's still within the budget? Yep. Okay. Yep. And we're going to have to get some little stickers for the back and Clay Township yep. eyes it. Yeah, we'll, yep. we'll uh, stripe it. The other thing, too, is we can take the old um, Tango 1, the excursion, and we can put that up for sale, too. Right. Take some of the money from that, sale of that, and put it towards it also. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. That was unexpected. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the fire department utility vehicle purchase the amount of $45,008 from... Where is it? Grand Rapids? Burger Chevrolet? They're on the um, Michigan bed. Okay, we have a motion. Any support? Support. Okay. Any discussion? <clears throat> um, this is going to be a one time purchase from, our, yeah. from their budget. Yeah. So there's no financing involved. Right. Um, Badly needed. The other one's not so easy on the eyes anymore, is it? No. Well, not, not so easy on the back. Yeah. <laughs> we rode in it last week, and it's, it's rough. Really rough. It's really rough. <laughs> I think we should convert so that to our township car. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I don't know, Marty. There's, they both kind of need to go. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Um, one other thing, too, uh, it's kind of off the topic, but we're going to um, check into uh, selling our, our one ambulance. That yes. Was, yeah. So um, we should start making motions on that. I believe we have an offer on it for about 15000 which is pretty close to what we paid for it. So, uh, okay, we have uh, motion of support. Roll call, please. <coughs> Artie Bryson? Yes. Cindy Valentine? Yes. Joanne Shirky? Yes. Mark Bouchard? Yes. Sandy Kufelt? Yes. Chris O'Regan? Yes. Christy Hilton? Yes. Motion passes. Thanks, Chief. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's see. Is it for business? Board member comments. Mark, how are we doing down there? You got anything for us? Well, I'm sorry to hear about your ailment there, Artie. It's, Me too. Uh, it's I know it's been, I know, that's, I can't get any for well, I guess Kinda that's like sliding over. I got all kinds of room. <laughs> <laughs> I had a uh, uh, couple in a neighborhood talking about Phragmite spraying on the marsh. Uh, and I know that's a DNR project, and I don't know if it was posted or not. I didn't hear anything about it until she brought it to my attention. This what is marsh? Uh, St. John's, John's Marsh. Yeah. I don't think there was anything done there. Yeah. I don't know, did they see him? Yeah, they saw them. They saw them spraying. So uh, this is what they told me. And okay. I said, well, I, I know it's DNR and they're supposed to post it and let us know, but I didn't hear anything about it. So I'm just checking with you if we... I, I can uh, I can call John Darwin and Terry McFadden yeah, and find out. Yeah. But I, 
I don't. I I didn't hear. How anything. would they spray over there unless they have? <coughs> well, I don't know. Uh, normally, it's the helicopter. You right. Normally, they do helicopters. So, they haven't done that for about two, three years. Yeah, I did. There. I didn't notice it. And, right. You know, I go by there all the time. But right. Whatever. So. In our. Same he was times. worried about our tomato plants getting whacked. <laughs> yes. It's the Roundup. What, what was the issue? And yeah. There's a chemical in the Roundup, according <clears throat> to her, that has been outlawed. Out, outlawed in. No, it's Ten not. States. It's of fate. It has it's never yeah. been outlawed. No. It, not here in Michigan, but in other states, according mm. to her. So, I didn't. Okay, okay thanks. <laughs> That's it. Anything else? You're welcome. That's it. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll find out. Okay. Uh, how you doing, Joanne? I have nothing at this time. You're kidding what? me. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> no ZBA, no nothing. All right. I'm catching you. Cold, I <clears> yeah, think. I guess so. Cindy? Um, elections coming up. We're always looking for election workers. So if you're interested, it does require a day's training down at the county office for about four hours. Um, and election day is a long day. But uh, let the clerk's office know um, if you're interested in working for the election. And I would just like to congratulate our Blue Water Area Conference champions, our Algonac yes. Muskrats. Nice game on Friday. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Oh, muskrat. Chris right. is down there. <coughs> yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> <laughs> I should have started down there, huh? I don't know. <laughs> Sandy? Um, just want to remind everyone the little kitties are in school and to pay attention to the school buses and the red flashing lights. Heard a couple complaints about that around town, so just want to make everyone conscious of that again. Had the opportunity to ride out to Richmond and watch our Algonac muskrats win that BWAC title. <coughs> Go, muskrats. Chris? Um, well, <laughs> we're jumping into fall, and it's uh, my favorite time of year. Um, Mine, too. I just want to encourage and, and remind the duck hunters and deer hunters um, in our area uh, to be safe, first and foremost. Um, wear your life jackets, um, wear your harnesses in your stands. Uh, be courteous to one another. I know we've got a lot of uh, cross-mingling in some of our, our wetland areas. Um, so, so be courteous to one another. Uh, be respectful and uh, only leave your footprints. Thank you. Christy? I've got nothing. Okay. What? Wait, what? No muskrat? Oh, yeah, well, Chris? I mean, Yeah, well, Chris didn't obviously. do the muskrat thing. <clears throat> I, yeah, I got my, I was going to put it on, but new muskrat be whack champion t-shirt. I know you guys. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Good stuff. They played stellar. I tell you what, they're D. I mean, they just all all the way around the ball. They really did. Played with speed, didn't yep. they? And they yep. swarmed. Yep. Uh, yeah, they they did. They definitely swarmed that ball. Um, and good job to them. And uh, um, congratulations. I'd like to also congratulate our Elna Clay Historical Society again. That's a great award they have. I'll tell you what, that's that's a fun group, and they do such a good job. And they take a lot of pride in it, which is great. It's uh, always fun to cooperate with them and, and do joint ventures with them. And, uh, I oh, wish yeah. I would have known we could have made them part of our agenda instead of just Yeah, them well, I, I saw the article in the paper. I posted on Facebook and stuff. Uh, I was in the Port Aaron paper three or four days ago. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was all good stuff. Yeah, we'll have them read that next time. Okay. Can I amend my no comment? <laughs> sure. <laughs> On, uh, what was it, this Thursday, this past Thursday, the four of us went up to um, this, this Grant Township to the St. Clair County chapter of the MTA to listen to a guest speaker who happened to be Ken Cummings. And there were, I would say, how many? Cindy, 20, 20, 25 people there from the various townships. Yep. And uh, uh, we were well represented, represented as Clay. And so I found it informative. And it was nice to meet with the other people from the various townships. Mm -hmm. So Chief went, and uh, Cindy, and Christy, and myself. Oh, good. So you went good. up there too, Chris? No. Good. Yeah. yeah. Christy. Yeah. Oh, Christy. Christy. Okay, Christy that's what I thought. Christy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Christy. Uh, uh, Trustee okay, O'Regan was sense. supposed to come, but he um, was unavailable at the last minute due to oh. some other obligations. 
So we took the chief with us instead. And Artie was sick. And Artie yeah, I was, was sick. sick. So you didn't make it? No, I know it. I'm sure I was well missed, huh? But it's always good, uh, I think, for all of us to attend things like that. Yeah. As well as the meet the workshop you two are going to. That's mm -hmm. good. I'm all for that. <coughs> And oh, I, 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 I do have to get my last dig in because our last meeting, you know, I put my Michigan State hat on and got all kinds of. They're never going to win. Nobody cares <laughs> about that. Nobody cares no about one that. cares about I that. Care, yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad you care, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Surprise. Okay, other than that, that's all I have. Um, Motion to adjourn. Support. Support. Okay. <laughs> Anyone who's going to object? Let's get out of here. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thank you. Already? Nice. Happy meeting. Uh, that was my drop the mic on. That was. <laughs> no, that was. Basketball coming up? <laughs>